So, I still don't have my football back from the neighbor's garden, so why don't we try some juggling? Juggling's a fab skill. It's pretty difficult, but you break it down into chunks, you practice little steps, you get better steadily, and eventually you're able to do this. I've got a series of videos across on my YouTube channel, the link probably be below. Why don't you learn to juggle? Challenge yourself to stay mentally agile and engaged and learn a new skill. Every time you drop it, bend down, pick it up and try again. I wish you the best of luck in this challenge and I'm looking for staff and pupils to post videos of progress. This isn't about fantastic juggling, it's about progress, it's about sticking in, it's about trying and learning new skills. So staff and pupils, this challenge is over to you. So step one of this is to make yourself some juggling balls. So you can see here, I have raided the odd sock drawer and just made myself equal kind of balls, uh, equal size, uh, and kind of similar weight. If one's heavier than the other, it, it becomes really hard. So that's step one. Make yourself some odd sock juggling balls. Step two is to put the other two juggling balls down and just focus on one. And all we want to do is get a nice arch that comes just about head height and back down to the other hand, like this. Now, it seems funny, but this is, the, this is the task that you will always come back to because as you end up throwing and catching more balls, it becomes harder and harder. It is worth spending a little bit of time with this, just getting quite comfortable with it. Uh, I've seen people clap in between. It's really important that you keep your arms, legs bent and your arms down here. There's no point trying to catch it up here because they need to stay here. So just practicing that. Make sure that your weak hand is just as good as the other hand and you just want it to be as predictable as possible. If you do it really sl really small, it doesn't really give you a lot of time to think. So just about head height and back down. So that's step two. Step three is to try it with two of your odd sock juggling balls. So in this, I'm gonna throw one up and as it starts to come down, I'm gonna throw that other one up and then they're gonna land. So it looks a little bit like this. So you get one, two, catch. I'll do that again. I'll maybe try and slow it down on the, on the film as well. catch and start on different arms. I, I tend to always start with my left, but only because that's my weakest, but start with the right as well. Throw, throw, catch. Watch that you don't do that. That isn't juggling. Okay. That is not juggling. It's a, that's a different trick much, much later on. So one, two, they both go the same height. They both go just up to your head height and start on different hands each time. This one takes up this, this is probably the hardest step just getting that comfortable, okay, and predictable. Okay, good luck. So this next step's trying to get to, to doing three at once. There's a number of different ways you might want to do that. You might want to practice just holding two in one hand. And when you'd start to do three, it's always the hand that's got two that you start with. But you might want to just try doing the two, which is a previous step, but just holding on to that one. So you can just do that. So you always start with the one with two. Just one, two, catch. And what I would probably build up to doing is throwing the third one away. So you go like this, one, two, and then throw. And then you can either catch that one or frequently it'll end up halfway across the room. So that's, that's basically the next bit. One, two, and then throw that one away. And if you can catch it, brilliant. And then what happens is you basically continually just get rid of one out of your hand. So just get rid of that one, get rid of that one, and just keep throwing it away. At this point, you're like, ah! And what you do is you go back to the previous step where you just practice doing two and just getting that in control. You might find leaning back helps you. 
you might find doing it up near a wall because what happens to start with you end up throwing them forward and end up running across the room okay careful you don't break any ornaments this this step the three and then go back to the two just make sure you've got that in control make sure that your weak arms good and then you'll be at it in no time and then we can start introducing some some tricks into the into the fray good luck